everyone and welcome to the Well-Educated Artist. We have a fun Valentine's Day pour painting for you today. We are going to be starting with the 10 by 10 canvas and it's in my pour box. And I don't know if you can see it, but I have very briefly sketched out a couple of hearts on this. Yes, we're going full out Valentine's. Why do we need the hearts? Well, I am going to be doing an embossing technique today using hot glue. Hot glue is a really easy way to emboss your pour paintings, and I just like to do it. So if you just sketch out a heart, then you can emboss it or you can do whatever you want for Valentine's Day, but we're just having a little bit of fun with hearts. I know it's cliche, but it's really fun to do. So I am just going to go around and outline my heart with my glue gun and I have nesting hearts so I am not going to complete the other heart. If you get like I did and you make a mistake, then you can pull that back off. That's the fun thing about hot glue. I think I need a little bit more here and a little bit more here. Now, if you lift your hot glue gun, you are going to have strings and you'll need to pull the strings off. If you make a little oopsie, you can just pull that off with your finger. If you're wearing gloves, it won't burn you, but be careful. Hot glue obviously is hot, and you will get burned if you're not careful. I've never found that it uh, causes too much damage, but be careful. Once you've finished your embossing and you're good to go, it only takes a minute for that to dry. That's the really great thing about hot glue is once it's cool, you're good to go and you don't have to worry about anything. You can freehand it. It might have been easier than me trying to draw the lines, actually, but it's going to have a little bit of character to it. Okay, so once you have your design done, then you can begin your background colors, whatever you want to do. I am going to be using my dustpan for this, and I'm gonna be using some kind of cliche colors, but they're great for Valentine's Day. Your alizarin crimson, your magenta, your white, some metallic white possibly, and uh, some neon pink will be the colors that I'm going to be using. And my special color is the Folk Art Color Shift. It's a pink metallic with a gloss finish. And that is actually added to the Liquitex medium instead, the flow medium from Liquitex. I don't always use it. It can be fairly expensive, but it's pretty cool. And I wanted to have more of a pure color. Instead of using the Floetrol, I used the Liquitex Pore Medium. But you can just use Floetrol too. So I'm gonna go ahead and start layering my paint in my pan that's going to go over my hearts. And why I chose not to use a swipe, swipe would be pretty cool with this, is because the raised part of it is going to give you some trouble. So I'm not going to use that on this. Another thing you may want to do is add just a little bit of gesso over the top of these if you have trouble with the paint sticking to it. It doesn't usually give you trouble, but you can definitely put some gesso over the top. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and layer my paints. I learned my lesson last time. I make sure that if you've got a hole in your dustpan that you cover that up because paint likes to come back and get all over you. So we don't want that to happen. It doesn't really matter which order that you do your paints in for this. So I'm just gonna be using titanium white. So much fun is the neon pink, so I'm going to add my neon pink to this. And this is just going straight into the dustpan. And then 
then I'm gonna add my red just so I don't get some murky pink, even though pinks are great for this. No problem. And then I'll add my magenta. Now I'm going to add metallic white. You can do all metallic white. You don't have to switch or you can do all titanium. It doesn't matter, but I just love my metallics. And then I can go ahead and add my metallic pink. And I'm just gonna continue to load this up. What I'm going to do is start here, going right over the top. My poor box is giving me a little bit of trouble. I'm going to have to move it up. So we're going to come on down. Then I'm going to come here. And the cool thing is you can go over this now, just like you would a swipe with your dustpan. And that is going to allow you to get a lot of really cool cells to form. Okay. Okay, I have pulled out my spin box for this. And if you like it just like this, you can actually stop. But, you know, you can just get out your torch and see, hey, I like it like that and leave it like that. If that's the way you want it, you can stop. If you want to be more adventurous, you can spin it. And I'm gonna be using some DecoArt 24 karat gold and I'm gonna go inside of my heart. You don't need a lot. I actually went over that. That's okay. Okay, so we are going to spin this and see what happens. I've taken this out of the spin box and we've already seen a lot of movement, but I'm gonna give it a spin now because my spin box in this uh, particular canvas is not working out the way I wanted it. It keeps hitting. Uh, so I need to uh, make a bigger spin box, it looks like. Okay, I have a little more gold. just because I like a lot of sparkle. I think we need a little bit. That heart is almost completely gold, which is pretty cool. Can I add just a little tiny bit more? And maybe... Let's see. <laughs> I 
I really love how the gold has worked out right there. I think I'm pretty happy with the way this is turning out and I think I am going to leave it as is and see how it dries. You should be able to see the hearts really well when it dries and it should work out really great. We're getting a lot of really nice shimmer. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's dry.